This entire video could be a colossal mistake. What's going on everybody? I'm Jay. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Glad you clicked the video. Today I spent $50, which doesn't seem like much in the grand scheme of things, especially in the world of video gaming, but I spent $50 at Five Below. If you don't know what Five Below is, Five Below is a chain of discount stores here in the States, possibly elsewhere. I didn't really do my research. And they sell all kinds of stuff. It is essentially tchotchke heaven. It's all kinds of stuff. Like for our family, it's kind of the pre-gaming place for going to the movie theater. This is where we buy our candy and we buy our drinks and stuff like that. Yes, we are those people. We smuggle them into the theaters. I don't feel comfortable spending $35 on Reese's Cups. I mean, I would, don't get me wrong. I do love Reese's Cups, irrelevant. But Five Below to us is typically the movie candy store or the stocking stuffer store. And one of the things that I have noticed is that they tend to have a lot of random ass electronics and gaming accessories. And really, I just want to see if any of them are worth wow. it. Wow! So I've got two bags, one and a half bags of crap here that we're gonna go through. We're gonna see if any of these things are worth a damn. We're gonna focus primarily on Switch accessories today just because that's what I have here and I don't really want to move the video capture card over to the PS5, but we've got some PS5 and Series X stuff as well that we'll be looking at in a future video. Up first, you can't go wrong with a carrying case. And I think everyone kind of should have one for their Switch. Like, I like to have a hard shell case on there as well, and typically that's my fixture grip case. But I haven't picked up a fixture S2 yet, so right now on my OLED, I'm just traveling with the Joy-Cons. But I took a look at the store, I took a look at Five Below, and they had these awesome kind of Avengers and Black Panther Wakanda Forever cases, and I decided to check this one out. Let's see how this guy performs. Now, a case is kind of easy mode, right? Like, that's why we're starting here. We're not going with the more interesting or mechanically inclined things or anything like that. We're just sticking with cases, and we're going to see how these perform. And, I mean, it's pretty okay. I'm not going to say it's nice. It's got a net here, which is great, unless you open it and you up open it upside down, then everything will fall out. That's kind of, kind of crappy. But let's see how the Switch fits in it. Now, this is my OLED. This is made for an OLED, and actually, I kind of like how that fits. That's nice and tight in there, and it's not falling out. It's pretty nice. I will say the ultimate test, though, for a case is, does the Switch survive when you do this? I'm just sitting in my computer chair here. It's not it's a terribly far fall, but make sure everything still turns on because I want to keep playing Advance Wars. But yep, still turns on. Everything looks good. This is this is pretty nice. I mean, it's it's an all right case. I mean, I think I like my Zelda one better, and I definitely like our Satisfy Grip cases better that we have for uh, the Switch Lite that's right here, as well as Meredith's standard Switch as well. Speaking of the Switch Lite, this is Victor's Switch Lite, and yeah, it is in a Satisfy Grip. The Satisfy Grip is fine. God, he has beat the holy hell out of this thing. Uh, but yeah, so this is his Satisfy Grip, and this is probably the best case out there, as far as I'm concerned, for Switch Lights. Like, like I'm pushing it pretty hard and it's not collapsing. Now, I dare say this one for the Switch Lite from Five Below is not going to perform to those standards. Now, first and foremost, it's just plain black. That's kind of boring. Um, but I mean, like I can do that. That's not a great feeling for your Switch Lite case. Obviously with a Switch Lite in there, it's gonna be a little bit more rigid, but this is just like the Avengers case I had for the standard Switch. It's got the same kind of pocket up here with elastic that's open, so stuff will fall out. But let's see how the Switch Lite fits. The elastic's good. It's holding in there. I, I, I really don't like how flimsy this one is. Like, this isn't a terribly sturdy hard side case. So, Avengers one? Okay, plain black Switch Lite case, not so much. That's, that's pretty, pretty bad. All right, up next. This is one I don't really know that's necessary because I've never had a heating problem on my Switch, but I saw it and I thought maybe, maybe why not? Let's. Let's try to cool off my Switch that doesn't have a heating problem. This is a cooling fan that attaches to the back of your Switch. Wow, this is... I'm gonna go out on a limb right away and say don't buy this thing. This thing is, uh... laughably bad. All right, um, let, let, let me get my Switch out here. Um, so, it's my OLED. This is the high-performance model. Um, and yeah, like I said, I've never really had a heating issue with my Switch. This has suction cups on it. 
Which means I think I have to lick this to make it stick to my switch, which is not going to happen. Uh, let's let's see. Oh, hey, it worked. How how great. Uh, okay, it does come with a USB connector, and let's let's plug it in. I've got a USB multi port over here. I mean, the fan turns on. But you guys can see the fan there, and here, l listen, just. Bit of a whiny fan, right? And this thing doesn't really have any power. I'm not one to really question Five Below's stuff. I I think you get what you pay for. This is a $5 item, and I would expect it to be a $5 fan. But like, here is my Mega Man 11 microfiber that came with the game. This is me blowing on it. No power there. This is the fan blowing on it. Don't buy this one. This one I'm actually kind of excited about. Now, uh, it's completely superfluous unless you have a lot of Joy-Cons, which I do. Uh, you guys have probably seen the short where I show off all of our different Joy-Con sets. And uh, one of the big problems we have is that Joy-Cons can go uncharged. And this is a Joy-Con charger. I just so happen to have a very, very, very dead purple Joy-Con over here. Uh, so we're gonna get this guy plugged in, we're gonna grab that purple Joy-Con and see if it starts charging. And, oh, hey, that's pretty nice. Change its color to show that it is charging. Cool. That's a that's actually a pretty nice option. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's not a bad price, and I can actually see these being used for something other than just charging. Like, because if you... Hold on, let me check again. Uh, like, if you have different collector sets for Joy-Cons, like there are the Animal Crossing ones, or the Hey You Pikachu, Hey You Eevee, the ones from the new Splatoon 3 OLED that my wife just picked up, which are gorgeous. Uh, but then there's also stuff like these. I actually think these make a pretty nice display stand for these. And they serve double feature here by actually charging them as well. I'm actually really pleasantly pleased with this one. This is this is really nice. This 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 gets the J thumbs up. All right, this one I'm I'm kind of curious about because I am fat. I, I don't think that's much of a surprise to anybody. And one of the things I really need to do is start incorporating more fitness into my life. And as cool as Ring Fit is, and as great of a feature as that is, I have a game that I haven't even booted up once yet, just because I don't really know how stupid I'm going to look. And you guys are going to see how stupid I look uh, at the same time I do here. Uh, but it's fitness boxing. And I kind of thought these here, these boxing grips for the Switch could be interesting. I don't know if they're going to be worth it. I, I think it's probably just as easy to just hold the Joy-Cons themselves with the rails on them, but I figure what the hell, let's take a look at them. So these are the boxing fitness grips, and these are just as simple as this. And I'm assuming, yeah, you're going to just hold them like this, kind of like boxing gloves. One of the things I do like about them, nice chunky boy wrist straps, actually. Straight up, the worst thing about these, I haven't even tried the performance yet, and I'm telling you without a shadow of a doubt, the worst thing about these is getting these goddamn wrist straps attached. The little channel that you have to run them through to wrap them around the bar, way too small, way too hard to work with. The thread on here is too thick. It is not pliable. Pain in the ass. That's the worst part. Don't care. 100% the worst part. All right, so this is fitness boxing to rhythm and exercise. Uh, I got my, my boxing gloves on. We're going to live life on the edge. I'm not putting the wrist straps on, so we'll see how this goes. I will say that they're a little bit small. They're kind of brass knuckly. Um, makes it a little bit hard to get a grip. All right, let's do this. Okay. Ready, stance. Left hand. Let's do jabs. Ready? Jab. Jab. Ready? Jab. Keep your left hand straight. Ready? Jab. Punch straight and snap back. Ready? Jab. Jab. Nice punch. All right, that's good. It's actually pretty fun. Nice punch. Not right, not a nice punch. Good. These are great. These work really well. Of other moves to teach I can actually see this being a halfway decent workout. For each I mean, granted, it's because I'm fat and exercise. horrible, but for now, it's pretty That's cool. I actually think we're we'll working with this one pretty often. Okay, and now it's time for the only accessory that actually caused me to go out and purchase a game specifically for this video. And I really, really wish I knew why, because I'm not a fan of the genre in the slightest, but this thing absolutely fascinated me because it feels a little bit like the controller from the Dreamcast that everyone loves so much. This is the Fishing Rod Switch Controller. This, 
I just, I'm reminded of Sega Bass Fishing. So we're gonna get this guy open. I'm gonna be utterly disappointed, I'm sure of it. And uh, we're going to play The Bass Fishing. That's the name of the game. <laughs> the Bass Fishing. Maybe THE Bass Fishing? I don't know. Uh, but let's see how this guy is. If this actually snaps... So, here's the two pieces. You've got your antenna bit at the top and your actual like, fishing rod with the... the tw Damn it. I really like that. Damn it. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, let's, let's see. If I can get these two put together without this plastic breaking, uh, that's a win. All right. Let's see. That worked. All right, so... Oh, this is this is really okay. This one's legit worth picking up. So, um, oh yeah, no, this is damn it, damn it. Okay, let's let's see how this one performs. Uh, all right, do I want uh, Dollar Store Ryan Reynolds or Chesty Larue as my instructor? Uh, Ryan Reynolds, everyone loves Ryan Reynolds, even if he is from the Dollar Tree. Yes, I would like to pick this instructor. Oh my god, this game's gonna be awful. It's, it's not even, it's not even voice acted, it's just... Do you want to look at boobs, or do you want to look at... That guy. I was hoping there was gonna be voice acting. Gotta catch a blue, hey, bluegills are here in Michigan. There are no mountains here in Michigan, though, so that's that's a little bit uh, a little bit misleading there. Uh, all right, we are going to be fishing in the loading screen, folks. If you know of actually good fishing games that are out there on the Nintendo Switch that would make use of this fancy dancy little fishing rod controller, let me know. I'd love to try it out. So far, this game is less about fishing and more about reading. This is terrible. The rod is great. The game is god awful. Okay, the last thing I want to record is. Uh, this guy here, this is gonna be horrible. This is a light-up microphone, and it's gonna sound atrocious, uh, but hey, why not? This could be fun. It works. My god, it actually works. Okay, so let's let's see how this sounds and see if I can be able to use this for voiceover work going forward. The answer is no. Dropping this down to mono now. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jay. Welcome to Square Pegs. Today we are checking out a $5 microphone from Five Below to see if this is a suitable option for gamers. Chances are no, but uh, it's already performed better than I thought it was going to, and the lights sure are pretty. Let's 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 see how this sounds. Let's get this let's get this turned up. There we go. Dropping this down to mono now. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jay. Welcome to Square Pegs. Today we are checking out a five dollar microphone from Five Below to see if this is a suitable option for gamers. Chances are no, but uh, it's already performed better than I thought it was going to, and the lights sure are pretty. So, is Five Below a suitable option for gamers? As a rule, no. It's really not. The The products kind of suck. There are some good ones, though. Uh, first and foremost is the fishing rod. Despite the fact that the game sucked, this is really cool. I actually really like this. And trying out fitness boxing for the first time, I also really like these boxing grips. Like I said, they're a little bit tight on my fingers, but they're not bad. I think my favorite thing, though, out of everything I got is this Joy-Con charger. I think this is probably... It's beans approved. Hi, buddy. So this thing I actually think is the best. I think this gives you double suitability. You can actually display your stuff as well as charge it. And it, I mean, it works. They're, they're charged up now. They were flashing red before. So is Five Below worth getting gaming accessories at? No, not at all. But there are some good things if you actually are careful about what you grab and you try out. If you dug this one, I've got a PS5 and an Xbox Series X one coming up later that will be Spork approved, apparently. Hi, buddy. Okay. Uh, but we'll be checking out that one next month sometime. Switch today, as well as that PC accessory. And you know what, that microphone, that's actually not a bad purchase if you have a kid that likes to play online. That'd be a really good thing for him because Better that they break a $5 microphone than a $150 Blue Yeti. Until next time, folks, I've been Jay. Appreciate you spending a little bit of time with me tonight. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. I'll be doing more of these down the road. Uh, and you can laugh at my misfortune when I test out accessories for the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Remember to play more games, stay square, and take care. I'll talk to you soon. It's Meredith approved, too.